Well, the kicking team is coming on, but you've got to remember they've struggled. The last two field, field goal attempts Houston has missed. Matt Hogan has missed from 37. That one off the upright and a miss of 50 just before the end of the first half. So Hogan comes on again, this time from 38. And this time he is good. Three more. Four have, they, uh, have been under two minutes. From the 10 yard line, Chaz Powell on the return for the Nittany Lions comes to the near side and gets across the 35 down at the third. I like Wisconsin. I really like Russell Wilson and Monty Ball, those two combination, but a big opportunity for the Big Ten after having a rough day, it looks like today. You know, and Anise talked about the Big Ten struggles. It almost reminds you of last year on New Year's Day. They had such a rough day. Penn State against Florida had that loss, several other. Key losses for the Big Ten. You know, and even watching this game, Penn State, you know, considering they get up 27 to Houston, who scores 50, they're not doing that bad defensively. It's just offensively, they can't get anything going to get their way back into this game. Belton ran one play. Now he's back on the sideline. Bolden takes this snap and as hit as he throws. Boy, he took two shots. Ball loose. Who's got it? It was recovered at the 31 yard line, but no indication yet. Coming from a long way, this time he actually gets there, but up the middle, those are the hits that hurt the worst. Derek Matthews, number 49. Right in the face of Rob Bolden. Man, those hurt. Matthews, a true freshman. Hayden, a junior. We said before, Hayden has some NFL potential. Bolden over the middle, snagged out of the air. Justin Brown to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Penn State. Rob Bolden connecting with Justin Brown for the touchdown and the Nittany Lions get a spark. Let me tell you, Clay, how impressive that is. We just saw Rob Bolden get absolutely rocked the play before. That time he hangs in the pocket, delivers a perfect pass down the middle of the field to Justin Brown. Penn State, right when they needed it the most, they come up with a huge offensive score. Only his second touchdown pass this year. And the extra point by Farrell. And Penn State. With a big touchdown. Justin Brown, who earlier stepped out of bounds on the huge punt return. This time, watch the catch. Bolden hits him perfectly in stride right over the outstretched arms of Phillip Stewart. The linebacker for Houston. Just going to run a post route in the middle of the field. You've got a receiver against a linebacker. You take that matchup every time. Boy, beautiful catch by Justin Brown. Fully extended. That's an awkward catch for a receiver to make in the mouth. Stood in the pocket, delivered that perfect pass. Third career touchdown for Brown, the longest reception of his career. And Penn State's got a little energy now on that sideline. As it's brought back to the 30-yard line. Two to go here, third quarter. Keenum, time to throw. Comes across. Caught it over the middle by Michael Hayes. And he's got enough for a first down, a gain of 11. Uh, now it's Penn State's defense with an opportunity here to give the ball back to their offense. A nice little juke route. Keenum now eight of nine. Over 80 yards here in the second half. And another completion. Great catch by Johnson. 
Justin Johnson, even though he was well covered, went up and made a great grab for 18 yards. Case Keenum has not been knocked down many times, but this time he takes a pop right after he throws it. Late. That was a pull down. That wasn't a pop, but man, that pass was still on the money. Swings it out, caught at the 40 yard line. That time Edwards makes the catch, a gain of three. Here's one more look at the pass from Keenum. I mean, this ball is right on the money to Justin Johnson. These guys are so efficient with their offense. On second and five, a running play, staying on his feet is Michael Hayes. What an athletic move down to the 20-yard line. How did he stay up? Well, we just saw Michael Hayes, the last play, the little juke move at the end. This time, the defender tries to tackle him low. Look at it. Look at that balance and control. That is phenomenal. Over 700 rushing yards and a team-high 11 touchdowns for Hayes this year. As this time, it's Ronnie Williams getting it down close to the 10-yard line. One more look. Puts the left arm down to keep his balance. His head almost hits the ground. Unbelievable athleticism. You know, this Houston offense watching it, it's almost like you wake them up when, you, when the game gets closer and they are more effective. They play with more of a sense of urgency. It's like they need pressure to perform. Yeah, the only time that really didn't happen this year was against Southern Miss. Keenum steps up inside the 10, down close to the seven yard line. And that's a pickup of four. Second down and goal for Houston. As we're coming up on a half minute to go here in the third quarter. Uh, Keenum will check the play. First down and goal, Houston. Keenum throws to the outside, and it was behind the intended receiver. Patrick Edwards. That time Case Keenum trying to throw a back shoulder throw to Patrick Edwards. And that's a rare case where they weren't on the same page. So second and goal. Houston 0-2 all time against Penn State. The last meeting 1977. A loss at State College. More on the line this time here in the Ticket City Bowl. Inside handoff, Hayes bangs his way inside the five. He's the physical. Her record's been around for quite some time. Yeah, the 89 Holiday Bowl is when Ty Dittmer set that record. Keenum to the end zone, incomplete. It looked like Justin Johnson had it but couldn't hang on. Pretty good defense there by Danton Lynn. Really a tight window. Keenum tried to fit it in there. And those in the red zone, that's where those passing lanes get much tighter. Got to be much more accurate. Still, they almost completed it, but a good defensive stop for Penn State. And so now Hogan will come on to attempt another field goal. This is his fourth, I think that his fifth attempt today. He's missed twice. And this one from 22 yards. And a flag start. down. Offense. Well, Houston's trying to make the case that they were prompted off sides by Penn State. Disconcerting signals, which is the lay of game foul on the defense. Half the distance to the goal, replay the try. Actually against Penn State. Yep, that time, uh, they, that happens a lot. The defensive linemen will try to either yell the signal, they'll try to flinch at your tackle. That's what happened. Houston made the case to the officials and they listened. Houston will decline the penalty. So, uh, Tony Levine decides to decline the penalty. And that will give Hogan a little bit more room to get this up. So it remains a 22 yard attempt. Hart's in the snap, Jones the hold, and more points on the board for Houston. 
They're in the driver's seat here early in the fourth quarter, 30 to 14. Chaz Powell on the return. It's across the 25, pushing hard across the 30-yard line, but penalty flags down. It's that he has and and the Big East looming. Well, after the penalty, Penn State has it at the 10-yard line. Bolden, the handoff. And he gets it across the 15 to the 19-yard line. It's Silas Red. Nick signs on the tackle, a gain of nine. One thing about Penn State is they have stayed patient with their offensive game plan. They haven't abandoned it. They haven't gone to an exclusively pass game with Bolden. If the one wrinkle they showed was Bill Belton at the Wildcat position, which generated a little bit of production. But for the most part, it's been two big plays for Penn State's offense that have been a bulk of their production. Red again. Nice run up the middle. And he's up ended. Out across the uh, 25, near the 30-yard line. It's enough for a first down. A gain of 12 for Red. Mm -hmm. oh, look at Red coming right at you. Number 24, Kent Brooks on an island there at the safety position. Because if Kent Brooks doesn't make that tackle, Silas Red might have taken that all the way to the end zone. 24, 124 rushing yards now for Penn State as you see Red going to the training table. First and 10 from the Penn State 30, Bolden gives it to Green and he is met at the 25 by Sammy Brown. What a day for Sammy Brown and this linebacking core for Houston. Sammy Brown, that outside linebacker position, so many times he's come off the edge He's had a really productive get day. You know, it was interesting talking to Brian Stewart, their defensive coordinator. We asked him about him. He said, that outside linebacker position, that's where our bread is buttered. <laughs> that was his 30th tackle for loss, which leads the nation. That one a loss of three, second down. Second and 13, Bolden comes underneath, and it is caught. And not a lot of room to operate after the catch for Joe Suey, a gain of one. Third down. No, when you throw a screen pass, you want to have a good pass rush. You want to attract those defensive linemen towards you. That time, number 95, David Hunter, was just around the line of scrimmage, recognized the screen pretty quickly, and that was why that play didn't go for anything right there. Penn State co-champs of the Big Ten Leaders Division with Wisconsin this year, but... 45-7 loss to the Badgers in the regular season finale. Kept them out of the Big Ten title game. Haven't played well here today, and this one's picked off. Bolden throws his second interception today. It's Nick Sines coming up with the interception. And it's his second today. Well, two of Rob Bolden's worst decisions have come on third down. You can't afford those mistakes. 12.05 to go. Another mistake by Penn State. Uh, he'll get that on this drive. <laughs> he is 41 of 60. There's 42 for the day. Michael Hayes on the catch, but a flag is down. Good run after the catch for Hayes. But there are actually two penalty markers on the field. There are multiple fouls on the play. Holding. Offense, number 74. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense, number 40. His penalties will offset. We play the down. Rowdy down. Harper for Houston called for the penalty. And Glenn Carson, the middle linebacker for Penn State. So those penalties Our offset. Penalty. And it'll be first down at the 39-yard line for Houston. For Penn State defensively, I think you've got to get a little more aggressive at this point in the game with the clock running down. Uh, that ball was tipped like Jack Crawford. And that's something we haven't seen very much today, but it was something that Penn State wanted to do. We've seen so much of those quick-release passes 
See that time, number 81, Jack Crawford. That was part of their game plan, was to bat down the short passing game. They knew they